All right, what's up, guys? This is Chris. Well, y'all know who I am. This is live on Facebook. And um, I don't know if anybody will show up, but basically all I'm going to do is open up and take a look at this uh, Limelight AIO tank. While uh, we wait a moment, um, I will say that I'm home. Uh, normally, I'd be getting ready to go to work right now. <clears throat> but... My company is punishing me and making me stay home for 10 days because my son got diagnosed with COVID yesterday. So uh, my wife feels bad. My son, my wife takes care of everything. So uh, now I'm having to cook. Hey, what's up? Rather restricted. Yeah, I don't I don't know anything about it really yet, but I decided to grab one from uh, one of the shops and uh, give it a whirl. It looks cool as hell. So I don't know if it's restricted or not. But anyway, my son, uh, he's got to stay quarantined for 10 days. And my wife usually cooks dinner and breakfast and all that crap for him and uh, him and I. And so now I have to do all that because <laughs> my wife feels bad too. And I'm the one, they're both healthy as could be. He's you know, works out twice a day, big buff, you know, 19-year-old kid. And she's yoga this, eating right that. And I'm the fat diabetic you know so oh man i'm sorry to hear that brandon three and four i mean that sucks if they got it hopefully it's the omicron because i feel fine right now i mean but i'm taking care of both of them so you know what's going to end up happening what's up matt bennett i'm gonna end up getting covid and you know but anyway so i gotta stay home 10 days per my work <clears throat> my work uh if we have to do a questionnaire every day before we uh going you know before we start work to go into our AT&T buildings and uh well I mean I've had close contact with somebody that's tested so anyway but yeah Daniel I'm feeling fine so anyway we got the limelight AIO tank this is the uh, clear PC let's just uh take my sexy head down here 12 days wow you're doing better but yeah limelight uh on the side of the box nature's best uh something what does that say carved to perfection yeah my parents are actually getting tested today because they were over here over the weekend and that's when we mm. think my son probably got it so um oh wow damn edgar got it too but yeah we got the clear pc aio tank so we'll uh, take a look at this nice little cardboard box here uh, got some O-rings, little bitty bitty O-ring, and some big O-rings. Note, these tanks are made out of polycarbonate and may be sensitive to liquids known to be aggressive. Tank crackers, basically. And then the limelight experience, if you want to pause it and look at that. Well, this is live, but you can pause it later on YouTube. Hey, what's up, Ivan? And we got the tank itself. All right, come on. That's pretty heavy duty. Let's put this stuff away. Zinc. Oh yeah. Well, I drink green tea like all day. I mean, I got a jug of green tea right here. <laughs> I don't drink the hot green tea though. So what I've done is I've went ahead and put together uh, EUC coil in one of these and I've just rebuilt a bridge 1.2 just to try both of them. I'm going to go ahead and start soaking that juice in here while we're, because we'll try this too. Put some juice on there and check that out in a minute. So anyway, the tank, back to the tank. Huh. Rip it open, I guess. From what I've heard, these tanks are the only, the first batch will be made of that. I believe they're going to be switching to PG. That'd be nice. I like the frosted look though. That, that looks nice. Got a little plug here. Ooh, I don't like that kind of plug that has that little. Th well, no, it's not that bad to pull out. There's another one that has that kind of where it kind of flaps out and you got to pull it out. And that holds in the side there good. Oh, and we're also going to test it in a, um, a Cerakoted billet because since it's a, an off brand, you know, a third party tank, I want to make sure. That it fits in a Cerakote 2021. Um, actually, I take zinc every day, man. I'm I'm on di I'm a diabetic, 
And because of that, I've been like all sorts of uh, extra stuff. I take uh, uh, melatonin at night. There's a cocktail of stuff that they one, this one doctor I talked to said to take a whole lot of vitamin C, vitamin D, uh, zinc, um, melatonin, and a few other things that I take in addition to all the diabetic medication I take. So, But yeah, you fill it up here. Got your top there. We'll close that back for now. That'll be easier to put in once you get more juice in there. And then, well, on the bottom, what do we have here? It's got a serial number, which I cannot read because my eyes, 2,000 something, so I made a lot of those. And airflow control, that's what it says. And there's a little airflow control dial there. We'll find a flathead screwdriver around here somewhere. I know I got one. Probably should have thought to pull that out. Oh, wow, really? All right, so you just put a little flathead screwdriver in there. And, uh, yeah, there you go. For a billet box, this should be fine with the side airflow, but some of the boxes, like a Delro, this isn't going to work in a Delro, I don't reckon. I mean, it. you need that front airflow on a Delro. So we're going to leave that wide open because, well, I like everything wide open. Thanks for confirming. Oh, I I hadn't heard that because I really hadn't. I missed a lot of stuff. Wait a minute, hold on. What is this serial number? Can y'all read that? I can't read that. Can anybody see that serial number? My eyes are so bad. That's under five hundred. That's two, I think it says two thirty two or something. Huh. Anyway, um, so it looks like we just pulled the bottom off. Hey, what's up there, Otto? Wow, that's pretty tight. I guess because it's uh, dry. There we go. Got a nice little O-ring around. I didn't see any spares of this type of O-ring in there. 272, okay. Okay, so maybe I will get a free tank. That's pretty, it feels pretty nice. Nice solid uh, um, machining. Got a clear silicone O-ring in there. And then the O-ring around the edge that holds us together. So that's all there is to it. So from what I've seen, you just slap your uh, your Addy in here. Push it through. And then put the tank on it. And push that through. That's it. Push it all together and make sure it's sealed. Looks like it's not over here. I wonder if I should put some juice on that seal. Not sure that's sealed all the way. But yeah, it's going to be a fun... Oh, there we go. It's all sealed up. It's going to be a fun 10 days sitting at home with nothing to do. I do have some things coming to uh, that we'll be able to play with. I've got... Uh, I don't know when they're going to come, but uh, I've got the Rubik RBA, the Hammer RDA, um... Uh, a few other things. Um, I should have a 38 special soon enough. Uh, we got 2022s hopefully a launch this weekend. You think you can use Abyss Cool Bridges in this tank? I don't think so. I mean, I know, Edgar, I know that there was... Somebody says you can use the um, one of the adapters in... One of the, the Caliburn Cool adapter in a regular Boro. I've yet to try that. I don't have that adapter. I wanted to try it, but I never got around to it. So I don't know the answer to that, Edgar. What is that? Oh, that's my uh, dope there. All right, so let's put some juice in this one. I'll just put a little... Well, is this the same thing I primed it with? Yeah, yeah, the same thing I primed it with. I don't want to put too much because I'm going to dump it right back out and put a... Uh, I don't... It doesn't look like you'll be able to... Uh, I can, I can waste that much juice, right? I got plenty. Um, Yeah, I'm going to dump it right back out. It doesn't look like I'll be able to change. I mean, you, you, you know, with a regular AIO, like a like a like an orbit or something like that, you can pull the base off and turn it upside down. Uh, it's not released yet. Hey, Oliver. Um, it's not released yet, but uh, I've uh, spoke with the 
the maker and I'm going to uh, be able to get one from them. Um, I don't know when it's coming. So I've seen some people posting uh, screenshots and, you know, a couple of one guy in one of the posts I made asking what their favorite bridge is and somebody. Okay. So you should lube it a little bit, Ernest. Okay. Um, I guess we'll learn a bit. I mean, it went together finally, but, um, anyway, um, I've seen some people post screenshots of it, so it's out there. We'll take this orbit out of here and use the Cerakote model so we can see if it fits. Because, you know, this, uh, even the orbit is a little tight in there. It's so tight to the point where it's not damaging the inside of the wall of there. But, you know, I've got to basically kind of get it started to pull that out. It doesn't just slap out, you know. There we are. All right, will it fit? Oh, it's tight. Nope, nope, that's that's actually a perfect fit. That is a perfect fit. No, no, it's perfect. Hey, what's up, Travis? I've tried to caliber and G cool and regular cool works. Problem with the other adapters of flare. Ah, okay. Yeah, I haven't I haven't tried it. Um, I've heard those are good cools though. I wouldn't mind trying it. I mean, I love my PMP cools. I'm not one of those people that really got into these EU sequels. All right, let's see what we got. Point six five is reading correct. It's firing. Tastes good, actually. Shit. Maybe I should like EU sequels. It's not the tank. It's the coal, but that tastes good. With that juice, that tastes really good. Wow. But there it is in the tank. The airflow. Let me put the put the uh, panel on. It's a little tighter than some, but it's not too bad. That I'm just kind of surprised. I need to revisit EU sequels. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, enough of that. Let's go back down and uh, check out a bridge in there. What I wondered about it is you've got. Let me get my tweezers here and show you. This is what I was worried, wondering about. I don't know. I didn't check it, but is there juice? down here under this little this little platform i wonder that if you're gonna if you're gonna have to fill up once it gets i mean that's not a lot of juice to have to fill it up with but press down the tank to seal it i when, when i put it in i did you talking about doing this that's what i did when i put it in uh daniel but it seems to be sealed I mean, I don't know if there's anything that would tell me that, but no, um, on the sides of that platform there, is that juice going to be able to get up to the cool? I don't know. But anyway, let's put a bridge in there. Yeah, it doesn't just slide right out. It's, I mean, it's tight. It fits in there really good, but it's, it's, um. It is tight in a Cerco. I mean, it's not too tight. You see, it, I just barely pressed on it and it did come out. But there is a little resistance. So let's... Um, I'm not going to recover this juice. I'm just going to dump it. This is going to be a mess, isn't it? I'm just going to dump it. What is that junk in there? I wonder if that was in the tank. Anyway, um, throw that away. My adapter, or the top of the chimney of this adapter, got stuck up in there, so I'll push that out. You see, be gone. That was pretty good, though. I didn't, uh, I haven't had a EU sequel in a while.
I the break ins. Uh, this is one of the 0.6 mesh. This isn't a ceramic. That was a 0.6 mesh, so you don't really have to worry about that that break in. But hell, it takes like a whole tank to get a break in. Let me set that aside. All right, bridge time. Let me make sure this thing. Uh, 0.38. Put some more juice on there. The liquid makes it really easy. Yeah. Oh, it does. It does wick up to it just fine. I wondered about that when I saw pictures of this thing initially. It seemed like there was, it was kind of a waste down there. With that platform, but we'll see. All right, let's get this off of here. All right, so instead of feeding my chimney through like that, like we normally would, just put it together. This will be a lot easier, huh? Oop. No way. Oh, let me poke the hole. That's what Ross says, poke the hole. I'll poke both holes. All right, so we're going to put that on here. Which side do we want up front? Well, it really doesn't matter. That looks cool on there, though. Hmm. All right. We'll put this here. And just slide it up. It should be just fine. Yeah, it, it sealed just fine that time because it had a little juice on there. So let me clean that off a little bit. Yeah, uh, Travis, on those uh, 0.5 EUCs, I used to, it would take like a whole tank before I would break those in. I think the beauty that people like about those EUC coils, Todd, is that they last forever. Those 0.5 ceramics, I've heard people getting months off of one freaking coil. I mean, that'd be awesome because, hell, I go through like two, uh, two, um, uh, what are they called? PMP coils a week. Just because I like that flavor. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah. Same juice. Go ahead and fill this all the way up. I don't know the capacity of this um, of this tank with a... I mean, it all depends on what RBA or cool bridge you have in there. But I don't know if you get any additional capacity with this than you do over a standard boro but there it is all right let's make sure our airflow is still wide open because i'm gonna be honest i don't think i need i mean if i was a mouth to lung vapor i could see needing to cut that off a little bit but i'm not so we're not all right push it down to seal it like you said throw this drip tip on here this drip tip doesn't, oh yeah, this is, uh, this drip tip is an older, older, um, never normal drip tip, and it doesn't, doesn't, um, fit on every, uh oh, we're pulling the, push that down, I think I separated the, uh, oh no I didn't, no I didn't, um, it, uh, the, it, it's, it's an older one, and it doesn't go down in the, the uh, chimney of every device so let me grab something else to put on there since we're using the bridged v2 1.2 let's just use the bridged 1.2 tip it'll match this whole gray look any gray and stainless steel look anyway all right there we are what do we got we're reading a 0.55. That ain't right. What was I supposed to be reading about a point? Huh. That ain't reading right. Maybe I boogered it up. Let me try a different drip tip. Because this one's a little dirty anyway. That ain't right. It read a 0.38 on the reader. I'm not going to say yes or no on that, Todd. I um, I tried them, and they were okay. 
but I didn't get the life that some people get out of it. Of course, I chain vape, so I mean. There we go, 0 0.41. Yeah, that drip tip. I probably need to clean those uh, threads on that one. Reading a 0 0.38 or 0 0.41. So let's jack this up to about 34 watts. Uh, 35, what the hell, right? Actually, we can go a little higher than that, but all right, we'll see. Oh, I almost messed up. Almost turned off the stream instead of doing that. Um, it looks like it's a little raised off that platform, but it's not. That's as far as it'll go uh, with this with the bridged. I don't know what. I mean, I guess the, what the, the, between the, you know, no, I can't tell. I mean, it, it's definitely got a gap, but, oh, when you press it down, it raises a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it works. I worry about that capillary action getting up to that hole though when it gets down below that so we'll see what happens airflow is fine since you aren't really adjusting airflow you don't have to press oh okay oh you it when you adjust the airflow it changes something Yeah, I don't, I don't really need to change that airflow. You know, Nick, I may have, because see, I, I can't tell, but if you look, let me go back down here and show you what I'm talking about. If you look close right here, it almost feels like I separated the, uh, the, um, the chimney like it stretched it out some let me pull this drip tip back off and hope not to oh yeah I'm definitely I'm definitely affecting that chimney watch real close when I start let's see let me get the juice where you can see it when I'm pulling this chimney with this drip tip it's separating the chimney for sure yeah Huh. Now, this might just be a bridged problem in there, but I'm afraid to pull it off now. Yep. Alright, if I take that out of there real quickly. Take the tweezers and push down. Huh. Let me see if I can screw that back. Ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now, it's flush. Let me put this drip tip back on. And my chimney is back together. Yeah. <laughs> we almost had a, uh, an accident. Alright, so this is going to be a problem with this drip tip pulling. I have to be careful pulling that out. Let's see, is it still reading? 0. 0.40. Yep. So yeah, now it's flush. No, actually no, it's not. And when I pull it, watch. When I do that pull down thing, it even goes further open. Hmm. As long as it works... Mm, I think I got some I think I got some juice down in the uh flooded a little bit when I um got that little bit of gap in there. Let me throw some cotton down in there. Anyway. Uh oh, somebody's making dinner. Maybe my wife is feeling better. Not bad. 
I mean, the bridge, we're not, we're not checking out the bridge. We're checking out the tank. And I mean, it's an next, it's, it's a tank. The advantage, I mean, I guess, I don't know what the, the, you know, the, what are we looking for here? The, um, the goal of the tank was to be other than being an AIO with, you know, which you don't have glass on, um, and you know, the adjustable airflow is cool. I, I think I'd prefer a regular bore, a regular boro, but it looks great. I mean, it looks pretty stellar. Uh, time will tell how the wicking will happen once it gets low down there. I'll just keep using it and and see. Uh, the air, the airflow is not bad at all. Um, it, I was kind of worried about it being, you know, but. Will it work in a Bedelro? I don't know if it will. Let's we can try that real quick. Let's throw it in the Delro real quick and see what it how bad it would be. Oh, do I got some condensation going on on here? Surely enough. Let's get that cleaned up before we put it in there. All right. Let's take. Oh, this is. Let's be careful here. See if we can get that without taking that part. Hmm, it came right off this time. I think. Yeah, yeah. Woo. A little worried about that. All right, let's get this out of here and put it. I don't think there's going to be enough airflow in the Delro. Or, wow, thing leaked a little bit. Got me juicy in there. That could have been all that jostling we were doing, you know, pushing it up and down. Clean that up. Throw it in the Delro. Fits perfect in the Delro. Without, actually, let me just make sure it reads good. Point three nine. I'm not going to jack it up. I'll have to run it, Nick, to see what the condensation will be like in there. Uh, definitely a no-go in the Delro. Uh, that's very tight. I mean, maybe if you're mouth to lunging, that'd be fine, but that was without the panel. That's like sucking a golf ball through a garden hose. That ain't happening, guys. Um, you didn't have to get your hands on the LI. That is top of my list. The the what is that AIO? I I don't no 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 no. I didn't get the. I I'm not really to be honest. I the whole thing. The whole thing with the, um, yeah, I, I agree with you, Todd. I like the OG chimney on the OG uh, bridge. The thing about all these different Boros devices coming out, something like this and the Pulse and the low-end stuff, I don't mind, you know, the, the money spent on these, which I didn't actually pay for this, so I didn't have to buy it anyway. But I... I just, I mean, it used to be a billet box was high end and, you know, people would buy a billet box and I was like, oh my God, you just spent $265 on a box. Well, now, now, I mean, the Delrose 450, that's the low, that's a low end on all these. I, I don't have any, I mean, the Borat, you know, the, the price on the Borat was, you know, 280 or something. That's, that's reasonable. But these, the, the Harboros and that, orca thing that looks like a key and the key they're, they're just too expensive i i just i'm not chasing any of that i'll chase bridges but i'm not chasing devices i'm not i mean don't get me wrong I, i'd like to have I, i'd like to have every you know borrow device that comes out um well except for a few that are just plain ugly but um i, I don't see a need i mean the built box works beautifully 
what am I doing? Oh, I'm going to put this back in here. The billet box works great. I mean, it looks great. It's more customizable than most of this stuff. And so, and I don't, I don't have any problem with anybody buying all these new devices, but I just don't, I just, I, it's not, if I was, had like a whole lot of expendable income, maybe, but I'm not chasing that stuff. All right, we got the dill row back together. All right, let's go back in here. Um, we had some leaking, but I think it was because I was jostling it around in, inside there. So clean that up and we'll we'll test it out. Reasonably priced, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, like that drop, uh, the ground cloud drop, I think that's reasonably priced, but I just, you know, if I could get rid of, I mean, I don't, I, th I think you can take those letters off of it, the word drop on the side, I don't like that at all. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm not chasing all that stuff. So I don't really keep up with the prices and all. I had an opportunity. I mean, I, I'll be honest, that damn BXR, the titanium ones that were dropped this morning, I had an opportunity to get one before the drop. Uh, but $600, I, I can't, 600 euros, that's like 700 bucks. I can't, I can't justify that. I, I just can't pull the trigger on that. Hell, I've got to where I really, I'm trying to watch buying billets. Yeah, six, <coughs> 600 is ridiculous. All right. You know, it's, it's kind of funny when I, when I do that push down, <laughs> I force it to, it's like I'm pushing air into it and it's forcing a, a bubble out of the, uh, the hole on the bridge. But yeah, so the answer to the question, Dane, is no, I haven't. Uh, checked it out and I don't have one on the way. I actually, um, you know, I've gotten some of the stuff for free uh, lately, but uh, there are some of it that I have had to pay for in this uh, AIO um, Boro Tank Limelight. I, I paid for that. So I, I don't know. The airflow is pretty tight. I don't think I, no, I didn't, I didn't adjust it at all. It, it's okay. Where is it? Give me another box with a bridge in it. Here's another bridge. And probably the same cool. Hell, even the same juice. Yeah, it's definitely a lot less. Um, all right, Nick. Uh, enjoy. I, I'll try to do these more often. I've been doing some lives on YouTube. Uh, and I figured, hell, I could do a live here, then a live there, then a live here, you know, alternate them. And I can always put this live on YouTube for the, the viewers over there. Because, you know, there's some people that don't bother with Facebook at all. I've, that's another thing. I've never, I've never been a mech person, even with, I had a couple mech tube mods back in the early, you know, like 2014 time frame, but... It's just, I've never been in the mix. Yeah, let me check it real quick. It it feels like it, I mean, it looked like it was wide open when I put it in there, but hell, I could have messed that up too. Let's make sure I don't separate that. You know, I may not have got it on there good enough when we first put it on there because I just took that tip off again right there with no nothing, no problems. Oh, and it pulled right out. Yeah, it's wide open. I think let me let me uh, adjust it to make sure let's go back down here uh, come here that's closed that's closed All right round robins it looks like yeah that's wide open so we should be full wide right there I'll put it back in there I, I am happy. Oh, it's making a liar out of me now. It wants to be a little tight. There we go. All right. There we are. Oh, you can pull that all the way out and just make it wide, wide open? I didn't know that. Yeah, and we got that, that, I don't, I don't think that, I've never got the lip any, 
that gap between the base and the bottom of the bridge. I don't think that ever got any closer than that, right? So, um, wait, did you say the airflow spins 360 like it no up? Yeah, it did. It just turned all the way around. I mean, taking it out kind of defeats the purpose of what it's designed for, right? I mean, that is basically, other than being an AIO, the airflow is pretty much the selling point, right? I mean, I, I didn't really know. I didn't see any announcements on it. I just joined the Limelight group not too long ago. Tweezers in the slot is what it... What do you mean tweezers in the slot, Tyson? I can pull it back out and try something else. It's not unbearable. Um, tweezers in the slot with time, but it ended up just free spinning. Well, yeah, well, yeah. If it got to where it just moved on its own, probably, yeah. Oh, okay. Put tweezers in the slot and it'll pull right out. I see what you're saying. All right. You see that? Okay. So, yeah, you can. Hmm. That's a good idea. Let's see how that feels. And maybe you can use it in a Delro that way, right? If you did that, you can use it in a Delro. Let's try that. All right. That's a pretty good difference there. It's still a little tight, but it's not as restricted. Yeah, we can try it in the Delro. Let's throw it in there. Yeah, that made a big difference. Let's see if it'll make a difference in the Delro. I'm uh, I'm pulling the drip tip off like I don't care anymore. It's coming right out. Yeah, we uh, don't have anything in there. I must have separated the tank a little bit that one time. I had a whole lot of juice in there. All right, where'd my Delro go? There it is. Sorry, Adam, you got to go. Make sure you push it up. Oh, yeah, to get some a uh, little bit under the bottom there. That's the high, that's as far up it'll go. That's a lot better than it was, but that's still not usable in my opinion. Yeah, and when I put the panel on, that little hole is going to get covered. Yeah, that's... It can happen, but it's not... I don't think that... For me, that's not usable. That's... Even with that hole, that's not usable for me. It's not enough airflow. Mouth the lunger. Yeah, that'd work just fine for them. That's a cool looking combo though, with that uh white Delrin um Pro Row and the Atom. And these panels from Matt Bennett. Matt Bennett probably not still here, but Yeah, it's it was really tight even with that. So but yeah guys, that's uh that's the limelight tank and I did this live video, not that this is something groundbreaking, because hell, most of you guys have this, and I just got it for the first time, so. But yeah, it's, um, it, mouth the lung had work for you, Edgar. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Nothing. So, yeah, when I pull it down, it does open that gap just a little bit. 
But yeah, that works for me. I'm going to have to put this pin somewhere so I don't lose it. Yeah, Todd, that, that um, I mean, I, I don't, no disrespect to ground cloud innovations, but that, um, that reward, the writing drop on the side of that, I just don't like. I appreciate it, Daniel. I, uh, I, I, I know I know I'm gonna sound like a, a defeatist or a uh what's the word self -dep deprecating person but I hate my videos on YouTube but people like them so I'm gonna continue to do them uh but I just I don't feel I don't feel confident about them I, I, I it's a I'm gonna be honest it's a lot of pressure I'm no I'm not a YouTube reviewer I mean that's why I call them first looks and not reviews. I'm not, you know, a Grim Green or a, a Todd, uh, Mark Todd. And I just, I, I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable doing them. But people are liking them, so I'll keep doing them. And, you know, I always worry I'm going to say something stupid, you know, something wrong about a device or a product. But, you know, I kind of figure if I can pull it out of the box and use it without knowing anything about it, it's a good product. If it's a piece of shit and I can't figure it out, I can't get it wicked right, then you know maybe it's not that great. So, what's up, Lee? Yeah, that pulling that. Uh, who told me that? Um, Tyson? No. Who told me that? I'm scrolling up to see who told me that about the pen. Yeah, Tyson. Okay, I appreciate it. That 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 made a big difference. It's not like night and day difference, but I don't mind the way I sound or look on camera. Um, it's just what I say. When I get to doing these videos, first thing is I don't want to I don't want to mess around with editing for thirty minutes or an hour or four hours after I do the video splice some pieces together because I screwed this up and I want to go back and fix that or, you know, cut that out. I mean, I have had a couple where I stop in the middle and I like spend like 20 minutes fixing something and I'll cut that part out just for brevity. But I like to shoot it, go publish. You know, I don't want to mess around with all this fancy crap, you know, um, all these different, you know, transitions and, you know, I mean, I'll leave that to the real YouTubers. Um, <laughs> but, um, when I get to talking, like when I stop this video in a few minutes, I'm not going to remember a damn thing I said, you know, because I kind of get, when I've done public speaking, I've, I've been on panels before in the uh, Windows Mobile pocket, uh, the smartphone world. I've been on s some panels at, at some trade shows and uh, I just get up there and when all those people are sitting out there, hundreds of people and uh, I, somebody's like, hey man, you, you said this when you were up there. What I said, I don't remember saying that. <laughs> it, it, I just go blank, you know. So, but anyway, uh, your videos are YouTube. We gotta love the info. I appreciate it. I mean, oh, okay. I I, I know you're rusty, uh, Ranger. Um, uh oh, my battery dead. Nope. But yeah, now, anybody got any questions before we get going? I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this. Um, it's obviously going to stay here on Facebook on the channel, uh, but I'll uh, I'll end up uploading it to YouTube tonight. But it'll be just the way it sits. I won't be doing anything other than putting a uh, intro and a an outro on it. So anyway, if nobody has any questions, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and uh, go uh, see if anybody needs any help in the family. Because you know, like I said, I'm taking care of one, maybe two COVID patients right now. <laughs> So hopefully I don't get it because I've got underlying condition, three or four of them. I mean, I'm fat. I got diabetes, high blood pressure. Yeah. It's a banging little device, by the way, these little Cthulhu AIOs. That is not hot pink, by the way. So anyway, guys, I'm Chris, builtbox.info. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to y'all later.